Today's chef's trick, how to turn cheap balsamic into something that tastes deliciously like Italian aged balsamic. Non più dry farfalloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano. This week, I want to share with you a series of short videos titled Chef's Tricks. Tips, tricks, little bits of kitchen wisdom that people have been generous enough to share with me and I want to share with you. Those of you who know balsamic know how delicious aged balsamic is. It's thick and sweet and syrupy and it's something so good you can drizzle over strawberries as a dessert. But when you get store-bought, cheap, young balsamic, it's vinegar. It is so pungent and so strong, it's not something you want to put on your strawberries. The secret ingredient to transform this into something that tastes more like this, maple syrup. Take your bottle of cheap store-bought balsamic and pour it into a small saucepan. We're going to cook our vinegar over medium to medium high heat until it's reduced to about a quarter of the volume you started with. So if you start with four cups, we're going to finish with about a cup of a thick, syrupy, beautiful balsamic. When you're cooking your vinegar, you want to stay with it. It's going to take about 15 minutes to reduce down to the point that we want. Place your vinegar in your pot. And for every cup of vinegar, you want to add maybe a tablespoon of maple syrup. You can start out with your vinegar over high heat and then just slowly reduce the heat as the vinegar starts to thicken up. You just don't want to burn it. There's a fine line between syrupy, thick, perfectly rendered vinegar and burnt vinegar. So be very careful. Just remember that the vinegar will set up a little bit and thicken as it cools. Check the consistency of your vinegar by stirring it. You'll notice that it gets a little bit thick and starts to coat the spoon. We're not quite there yet. There's a little bit of a coating, but it's still pretty thin. If you've enjoyed this tip and you would like to see more, leave me a comment. I have tons of little things that just make time in the kitchen either more creative, more inspired, or easier, but mostly tastier. Once you've reduced your vinegar, pour it into a little bottle or jar, and it keeps just like vinegar. You can just leave it in a cupboard. Once it's cool, you'll be rewarded with this beautiful, thick, wonderful balsamic syrup. I'm going to go ahead and start a playlist, and I'll continue to add to it if this is something you guys are interested in. So leave me a comment and let me know. Thanks. See you next time. It's totally delicious. Thank you for being here and I'll see you on the next Chef's 